Grammy Awards, Chris Bits reacts to Burner Boy's loss. Reading, bounce, reading, bounce. Let your body move by the reading, bounce, reading, bounce, reading, bounce. Let your body move, make your reading, bounce. More Nigerians are still reacting to Bonner Boy's Grammy Awards loss. In an interview with Hip TV, music producer Chris Bitt says, though he expected Bernard to win, a win for Anjali Kijo is still a victory for Africa. I expected Bernard to win, to be honest. And Anjali Kijo, I love her so much. I love her music. I've sampled her records like thousands, <laughs> you know, of times. And uh, it's a win-win for Africa, you know, for Nigeria born out to be nominated you know is something for us do you get me so i don't think i don't feel some type of way i'm happy he was nominated and i'm happy angela kijo win you know it's a win-win thing it's all africa chris bits went on to call on africans to pay more attention to awards organized in africa for africans rather than seeking recognition from international awards what makes the grammy you know the people they are people like the people they know themselves you know they they see their awards, they, what, what, what gave Grammy that name? They see their award, they encourage it, they attend, they, they show love, they, want, they let people know that, oh, this is our awards. You know, they, I'm not saying this to make anybody feel bad or to say anything, do you understand? But it's a shame when it comes to us, you know, we feel like, oh, no, I'm not going, or they don't do this, they are not doing that. I just feel if Africans can come together and say, oh, this award is ours, and Let's go, let's support, let's show love, let's make, even if you don't win it, it don't matter. Do you understand? Just go, show love. Let them know that you appreciate, let, you know, the way you do your thing is different from the way another person would do. I feel we just need to come together and embrace our awards regardless. The producer, who just dropped a single titled Rhythm, featuring Yemi Alade and Skills, also revealed the inspiration behind the song. Uh, rhythm is, is, uh, uh, is another way of saying reading, the actual reading. So uh, when the Jamaicans want to say, oh, that's a good song, they'll be like, oh, that's a nice rhythm, my brother. Do you understand? So I just picked that word, reading, you know, like R-I-D-D-I-M, you know, that's the way they pronounce it. One up, one up like if I had the dance floor. We don't need the water, make it bang no. I wanted to do uh, a song that has a club bounce that you don't even need to know who is singing on it to vibe on the, the song. So I made the song, I sent it, you know, to my manager and I was like, oh, why don't we have someone on this? You know, at first I was skeptical about it because I wanted to, I like to make statements <laughs> that you don't need to do this before, you know, it's a good song or it's a big song. So, and then we had to deliberate on who to put on it. So we uh, came down to uh, uh, Yemi Alade and Scales, you know, those are my guys. We have great energy. We have good, amazing time when we're working together. So we did the song and it was fantastic. And I, you know, I didn't regret putting them on it at all. On the current state of music producers in Nigeria, he had this to say. Yeah, I think music producer in this country should know that uh, the system is designed in a way to favor the artists more because the artist has like seven people working for them. You know, they have manager, road manager, um, lawyer, this. You know, I think it's only, it's only wise for producers to, you know, get a lawyer, get a good manager, you know, team up. You shouldn't just wait for the artist to mention you, wait for the artist to do this. All those things don't get you anywhere because when they submit their music anywhere, in this country, they don't ask for who the producer is. They just want to know who the artist is and they upload it and you don't know anything, you know? So you need to get a good structure, get a good lawyer who knows about the business, get a good manager and you should be fine. Yeah.